It's on the way here at Headingley, it's West Yorkshire Radio. Time on, says referee James Feller. Patton gets boot to ball. We're up, up and away. The big rugby league derby returns. It's the Leeds Rhinos against the Bradford Bulls. We've had the minute silence. And already, Deck Patton looking for a real strong season. It's his first game in over six months after receiving his lengthy ban for eye gouging in the summer bash. And the Bradford Bulls have conceded an early penalty here at Headingley Carnegie for pushing in at the rook. That will see the Leeds Rhinos advance 10 metres shy of the halfway line. And immediately Leeds looking to get stuck into the Bradford Bulls. It's Leon Ruin. Ruin gets to his feet, he'll play the ball. Jared O'Connor's in there at dummy half. Big carry here from Sam Walters. Walters, two metres inside the Bradford half of the field. We'll go through the two teams in a moment for those that are just joining us. But here at Headingley Carnegie, we have had just a minute or so on the clock here. And Leeds looking good thus far. They find themselves 35 out from the Bradford try line as Ash Hanley takes on that right edge defence. Off tackle gone, Kieran Gill and Jordan Lilly in defence for the Bulls. Back down the middle channel, here they go with Rhys Martin. Martin, big strong carry. They're on the fifth and last tackle. 15 metres out, he gets to his feet, he'll play the ball. It's going to be a stab up from Myler. Myler looking to put Walker under pressure. Jack Walker, his first test at fullback. He's lost the ball and it's an error from Jack Walker. Five metres out from his own try line. And that will give the Leeds Rhinos scrum head and feed 10 metres out from the Bulls line. It's a bit of a sandy desert pitch here. I think Blackpool Beach, but without the donkeys. And we've had two minutes gone on the clock and Bradford's first taste of action. They've come up with an early error here. So they're going to put themselves under pressure. Two minutes gone on the clock. West Yorkshire Radio. It's Mick, the game caller, Gledel. We're live here at Headingley Carnegie. From the base of the scrum, the Rhinos looking to set their attacking platform. They're as deep as the, the halfway line here with Liam Tyndall. It comes out to Myler. Myler along the line now towards McDonnell. James McDonnell brought down tackle one. They've lost 10 metres here, the Rhinos, but I guess it gives them the attacking platform. Here goes Myler now. Myler taking that defensive line on. Nerdy but it's a touch. Good early defence there from Chester Butler. Back in defence here now for the Bulls as they come racing up the middle here with AJ Wallace. Big contact there from AJ Wallace, also involved in that tackle. Fenton Rogers, quick play of the ball. Leeds trying to bulldoze the way over this Bradford Bulls line. But the non forthcoming here as Reese Martin is held up. And they're on the last tackle here, the Rhinos. They're a metre out underneath the post. In there at dummy half is Ash Hanley. To Myler, to Martin. Reese Martin wrapped up by Kieran Gill. A changeover in possession. Three minutes gone here at Headingley. Rhinos nil, Bulls nil. AJ Wallace now meets the Rhinos head on and he's five out from his own dry line. Tackle number one. Good defence here from the Rhinos. They're really throwing back behind the ball as Lewis Roberts comes in from his wing position to make a telling tackle and contribution. Ben Blackmore's playing the ball, 12 out from his own line on tackle number three. Big strong drive down the middle channel here for the Bulls. They're being kept at bay, early doors here. Here goes Chester Butler, Butler's brought down. 28 metres out from his own try line on tackle number four. And the referee's gonna stop the clock here Chester Butler's playing the ball about five metres from where the referee's tackle. We're up to tackle. An early kick here from Deck Patton, looking to turn around Ash Hanley, the Leeds Rhinos fullback. It comes off the knee. Back in centre field here with Lewis Roberts, once upon a time with Swinton, via Lee, now at the Leeds Rhinos. Could be on his way to the Bradford Bulls. He's one of the wingers Mark Dunning's going to be looking at this afternoon as the Leeds Rhinos now turn defence into attack and the Rhinos 20 shy of the halfway line here with Liam Tyndall. Tyndall gets to his feet, he'll play the ball. Back down the middle channel it's going to go here as Leeds looking very purposeful early doors here. Cameron Smith in possession, Smith gets to his feet, 
He'll play the ball, just shy of the halfway line. O'Connor in there at dummy half to Ruin. Ruin's brought down five inside the Bradford half. Quick, fast hands, AC, Myla. Myla back to Ruin. That's touched the Bradford hand. Back to one, on halfway with Cam Smith. Cam Smith decides to give it to Morgan Gannon. Gannon's just going to take tackle one on the halfway line. Still nil-nil here. There's the Rhinos. Come at the balls from Fernie Beaners out. O'Connor in at dummy half. Good defence though from the Bradford Bulls. Good tackle there from Fenton Rogers. Who's and ours as Leeds look to open the scoring here. They're through the gap and they are going to open the scoring. Over in the corner, it is Leon Ruin. It was a lovely ball from Rick Tyler and Leeds Rhino. Number four, Leon Ruin opens the scoring. We've had six minutes gone on the clock. And Leon, he ran a very good line there. Whitford just not able to stop that Leeds Rhino. And the back row, second row forward. Very quick, very athletic, very sharp. It was a play of the ball in centre field, 20 metres out. It went from O'Connor to Myler. Myler sucked in Gill, and it was that out the back. That's a ruined cross. That's down side. The Bulldogs match for the first time this afternoon. It's saying 71. It's over on the. From the touch, it's caught the wind, it and it's a a spectacular conversion from Reese Martin. Seven minutes on the clock, lead six, Bradford nil here at Headingley. On oh, with oh. West Yorkshire Rugby League, also for those watching back on Bulls TV. Get Patton, proceedings underway, goes long and high to Martin. To Myler, back now with Smith. Tackle one. Leeds leading the Bulls here, six points to nil. It's got to be said in the opening seven and a half minutes, the Bulls have just had no possession whatsoever, no territory at all. Early doors though, in this game as Sam Lissoni goes down the middle channel. He's brought to the right hand side. As O'Connor goes scampering out of dummy half and O'Connor is going to meet the Bradford Bulls defence of Brad Foster. Head on here with Chester Butler. They're calling for the ball here with Gannon. Gannon goes out wide to Edwards. Edwards, another one of those young players that Mark Dunning might be having a look at who might be available on loan. They're on the last tackle, the Rhinos, up to halfway. Ash Hanley to Smith. Smith to Myler. They're running it out on the fast hand side with Martin. Martin kicks ahead. The Leeds defence all on side. And Foggy Johnson wrapped up there, 20 metres out from his own try line. Eight minutes gone if you're joining us on West Yorkshire Radio this afternoon. Lead six, Bradford nil. An early try to Leon Ruin here at Headingley in front of the Bradford Bull supporters. Out of dummy half here now from Lily. Lily to Gill. Bradford's only real second spell of possession in this game. They're up to halfway with the former Newcastle Thunderman. Now it goes through quick, fast hands as it's going to end up with Tom Holmes giving the ball there to the big striding feet of Fenton Rogers of the Huddersfield Giants. Tom Holmes now to Walker. Walker keeps the ball going. It goes to Joe Arundel. Joe Arundel's wrapped up, 25 metres out. Blackmore's in there at dummy half. Bradford, best field position of the game thus far. 30 metres out. Holmes takes the line on. Holmes kicks ahead. It's ricocheted off a Leeds leg. It's back to one on the tackle count. It's back to one with Jack Walker. Walker floats it out wide towards Fogging Johnson. Johnson just needs to take the tackle. Bradford in possession here. 20 out from the Leeds try line. They're in there at dummy half with Lilly. They're going to go back down the middle here with Fenton Rogers. Rogers is brought down. 15 metres out. Lead six. Bradford nil. The 10 metres out now. Lilly out of dummy half. Short ball to Foster. 
Foster scored the first try of the game last time out against the Dewsbury Rams. Five metres out now. Lily to Patton. No look pass from Patton to Holmes to Arundo to Blackmore. Blackmore towards the corner. He's offloading the ball here towards Patton. And come up with the error on the Leeds try line. They were throwing the ball around. Hopkins stayed as stuff. To be fair to Ben Blackmore, he was heading towards touch, so he had to release the ball or he would have been tackled into touch, but it was very, very excitable play between Walker, Holmes and Patton. Early doors here at Headingley. Bradford not able to breach the Leeds Rhinos defensive line on that occasion, but Leeds back in possession here. The 10 shy of the halfway line. On the wrong 20 metre line with Liam Tindall playing the ball. Up to halfway here with Cam Smith. O'Connor to Myler. Myler's going to kick early in the count into space between Walker and Blackmore. Here goes Ben Blackmore, the former Sheffield, Jude Rams man, up to half, up to breakfast, 25 metres, mate. And I tell you what, the more you see a Ben Blackmore, you see that big physical presence that he's going to have for the Bulls in 2023. The drum and the Leeds Rhinos Orchestra in fine voice here. AJ Wallace, 10 Shire halfway, tackle four for Bradford. In there at dummy half. Lovely run here from Jack Walker. Walker finds Lily. Lily now towards Holmes to Patton. Patton's wrapped up on that left hand edge. And Bradford are inside that Leeds half of the field. It's a very, very sloppy play the ball here. A bit of pushing and shoving in back play. As an out charge on the line from Chester Butler. And Chester Butler on the last tackle has had the ball stolen. So it's a penalty apiece here. And that won't please Rowan Smith. They got to the last tackle there, Leeds. And they've come up with a penalty. 30 metres out. Referee for this one this afternoon is James Vella. He's the... London based, well he's from Sydney but he's over in the country spoke to him a couple of seasons ago when he did the Bradford Sheffield opener during Covid times that was a bit of an uncomfortable afternoon for the Bulls, a 50 points to 12 defeat, here we go though Bradford now, a good attacking position 10 metres out from that Leeds Rhinos try line, Lily now to Patton Patton to Butler Butler's brought down in a four man tackle a metre out from that Leeds line Lily out of dummy half, fires it towards the left with Patton. Patton kicks through to Gill. Gill's been taken out off the ball here. And Leeds could be down to 12 men. He's going to the back pocket, is James Vella. It's a try scoring situation. There's going to be questions. Was it a penalty try? But Leeds are going down to 12 men. Reese Martin sent to the sim bin. It was a lovely kick through from Dick Patton. Kira Gill was running on the outside. And I tell you what, if Reese Martin does not take out Kieran Gill, that is try time. They've had the question with the referees, surely a penalty try. James Villa says no, and Bradford are going to go over the line here with Fenton Rogers. Tackle one, and he's lost the ball over the line, trying to ground it, wriggling like a worm. So Bradford now, instead of having a fresh set of six, on the Leeds line with 12 men in that Leeds defence. They've now coughed up possession as the Leeds Rhinos have come up with an error now. And it's a scrum head and feet to the Bulls, 30 out from the Leeds line. That's two errors apiece from the Rhinos and the Bulls. Harry Crossland says, listening from Newcastle, he hopes everybody's well down here in West Yorkshire. Good afternoon to Harry Crossland. 13 minutes gone on the clock, Reese Martin in the bin. Some of the Leeds Rhino supporters not happy with that decision. Sharing their displeasure with the referee, James Vella. Martin sent to the same bin, professional foul. No complaints from mine. I'm guessing referee James Vella didn't award the penalty try because of the position of where Ash Hanley was in relation to where the ball was, but for mine, you take Reese Martin out of that equation. Bill Gill gets there and grounds. Straight to Bradford. 30 out from the Leeds line. Patton. Patton to Walker. away. Out now, Bradford. Over on that left-hand side. 
Good field position for Mark Dunn inside again. Pattern now to Wallace. Wallace could have gone to Castleford or Hull FC in the close season. He's staying at the Bulls in 23. Lily now to Pattern to Holmes. Out the door to Walker. Walker to Arundo. And Joe Arundo will just slide between Liam Tindall and Gannon. And Joe Arundo has opened the scoring here for the Bradford Bulls. 15 minutes gone on the clock. Dried all six. The Bradford Bulls. Linking on and, and Joe Arundel. He scored for the Bulls. He just went through a gap between Tindall and Gannon. And if truth be told, he could have passed the ball on the outside to Ben Blackmore. And Blackmore could have just had a stroll in at the corner. Lead six, Bradford four here. Lovely fluent attacking play from the Bulls. Nicky says, whoop, whoop. Liam Hindley says, get in. Bulls on Radio 21 says, come on, you Bulls. Joe Arundel, close season signing from Bradford's local rivals, Halifax Panthers. Deck pattern, the kick predictor. It's at 88%. It's right on this main stand touchline. Can Patton draw us level here? 16 minutes gone on the clock. Patton with that right build. It's curling, but it's just gone wide. Lead six. Bradford Bulls on the board four. It's West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League, Bulls TV. It's the Keith Howard Foundation Memorial Trophy match. And the Bulls up and running in 23 in this big local West Yorkshire derby. Patton not able to convert from a very, very tough position. So we're back on the way here at Headingley. They've gone for the short restart leads. And they might score from the kickoff here. Leads 10 metres. <coughs> 10 metres. The movement here with Myler. Myler over on that right hand side to Walters. Walters has lost the ball. Leads down to 12, remember. Ball's picked up by AJ Wallace. Wallace is away, but the referee's going to say double knock on. It's come off the Bulls first. Bradford's third error in the opening exchanges. Seven. Yeah, on West Yorkshire Radio. Liam Hindley listed from Birmingham. We've got people listening from New Zealand. It's four o'clock in the morning. It's Monday morning. That's what time I get it from a night out. Scrub to Leeds, 20 metres out now. A real exciting game here at Edinley. There's going to be a few gremlins in the tank. They always is. It's pre-season. Centre field position here. Gannon goes wide to Myler. Myler to Ruin. Reese Martin in the Simbin for a professional foul on Kieran Gill. Ruin to O'Connor to Smith to Walters Walters brought down 12 metres out in front of the Leeds post ball's gone on the floor again here picked up by Leon Ruin the Rhinos try scorer and he's wrapped up there by Lillian Wallace quick play of the ball Leeds come again here with Cameron Smith Smith to Walters here. It's Walter floor up the tackle. Morgan Gannon will touch down to this game. They extend their lead. Ten points to four. Twenty minutes gone on the clock. And Morgan Gannon. We talk about that Bradford bull spine. The lead spine working well there. It was just a case of Bradford committing too many players there to Walters. They couldn't bring Walters down. It was a good defensive lineup, and it's just the speed and the skill. Walters taking four Bradford defenders out of that defensive line, offloading the ball to Morgan Gannon, 
and Cameron Smith about to convert, which he does. Cameron Smith with a conversion. It's Leeds Rhinos 12. Bradford Bulls 4 here at Henry Carnegie. West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League. The Rhinos back in this one. In a bit of a commanding position here. Leeds looking very lively. Inside the Bulls, 20 metre line. Deck pad underway from halfway and let's not forget that has come about on the back of Leeds going for that short restart and getting the ball back Bradford just caught cold a little bit there at half time we'll talk a little bit about the championship season launch which took place at Keefley on Thursday always a good event the championship launches where you get to hear all the rumours and the gossip as Leeds on the restart here now find themselves 25 metres out good defence from Bordine Thompson and Jordan Lilly here goes Morgan Gannon Gannon's giving the ball over on this left hand edge chance here for Leeds although they've lost the ball but the referee says penalty Chester Butler has stolen the ball there from Jared O'Connor two penalties apiece here now 22 minutes gone on the clock. Tries from Leon Ruin, Morgan Gannon for the Rhinos. They're going to have a full set of six inside the Bradford half here, the Rhinos. Liam Tyndall gives the ball there to Levi Edwards. Edwards tackle one. Had a lone spell at the York City Knights last season. Playing left centre inside Liam Tyndall this afternoon. Here goes Cameron Smith. One of the couple of changes this afternoon with Cameron Smith and Reese Martin. Coming in for Aidan Caesar, Blake Costin, Cruz Leeming, and Zane Teddy Varno. To just name a couple of the Leeds Rhinos players that are missing this afternoon. The 10 metres out here, Leeds, underneath the Bradford Pole. So Connor's in there at dummy half to Walters. Walters to Smith, to Cannon. As the Rhinos try to score with James McDonald. McDonald gets the ball out the back door. Leeds still coming here with Levi Edwards. Edwards brought down. 15 metres out, centre field position, Hanley in at dummy half, now it goes to Gannon, to Smith, Smith on that right hand edge, and Leeds are going to lose the ball here, and Bradford have recovered possession, and it was good defence from AJ Wallace and uh, Jack Walker there, it was Wallace and Walker, W and W who came in, they put a number there, and Leeds just coughing the ball up, and here we go now with Jack Walker, he's up to Bradford's 20 metre line, he was looking to skirt past Morgan Gannon there and James McDonald. McDonald dragged Walker and dragged him down. Here goes Bodine Thompson against his former club. Ten Shire halfway. Bradford getting a roll on now. Quick play of the ball from Thompson. Lilly to Holmes to Patton. Patton to Walker. Walker to Gill. Gill's over on that left edge. Back to Walker. Walker inside the leads. Half of the field to Butler now. Butler fronts up. He's going to be brought down 38 metres out from the Leeds try line. Rhinos 12, Bulls 4 here. 15 minutes to go and a half time as Patton puts boots of all on the last. Targeting Liam Tyndall. Tyndall takes it under pressure from Blackmore and Arundel on this right hand net. And Leeds back in possession here at Headingley Carnegie leading 12 points to 4. And we've got around 15 minutes to go to half time here. Tight, close game here. Mark Dunning, when we spoke to him pre-match, he said the games against Leeds and Huddersfield, which sadly was postponed, will be the games which gives the Bulls a good indication of where they are as a team ahead of that first game next Sunday at Odsall against Whitehaven. For Rowan Smith, he wants to see more structure with players getting extended minutes to get them ready for that season opener against Warrington in round one. Rowan said playing Bradford this week. Is an important step in our preparations for the season. Bradford are a very good championship team and will provide a tough challenge this afternoon. Leeds have come up with error number four this afternoon. A forward pass, two metres inside the Bradford half of the field. And so scrum down, centre field position. Deck Patton, first game in six months. He's enjoying it out there, dusting off the cobwebs. And Bradford trailing by 12 points to four, looking to get... A second try 
as it goes now from Patton to Holmes. Holmes to Walker. Walker to Holmes. Second phase play here from the Bulls. Although Fenton Rogers has just been collared here by Jared O'Connor in a centre field position. Lilly's in there at dummy half. Goes to Bordine Thompson. Thompson's 25 out from the Leeds line. Three tackles remaining here for the Bulls. A big crowd inside Headingley. Lilly now towards Holmes. Holmes on that left hand edge to Patton. Patton to Walker, to Wallace. Wallace is away towards the line. Wallace to Gill. Gill's over for the Bulls. Try to carry it Gill. But the referee, he looks to the touch judge. He's going to say no try. He's going to say four pass. It was lovely play from Wallace. Wallace drew it as Shanley. And it's just gone ever so slightly forward. Out of the arms of AJ Wallace. Hanley had to switch across. Try disallowed by the... Correct cut from what we saw up here. Bradford giving Leeds the possession. 10 metres out from their own try line here. Leeds 12, Bradford 4. As Leeds offload the ball here now out the back door. Rowan Smith making a couple of substitutions, interchanges. We'll go through those in a minute. One of those is James Donaldson, a former Bradford man, come through the academy when Steve McNamara was the head coach. As Cameron Smith now goes on a big, bullocking, monstrous run here, attacking both Marcus Green, who's come on the field, and also... Josh Johnson, who's wearing number 17, who's come on for his Bradford Bulls debut. Leeds awarded a penalty. High tackle on James Donaldson, Brad Foster, AJ Wallace. The two Bradford players in the tackle there. It'll give Richie Myler a chance to fire the ball into touch on the far stand side. It's West Yorkshire Radio, West Yorkshire Rugby League, also going out on Bulls TV for those that watch this on YouTube later on in the week and the Rhinos now a metre out from the Bradford line after that penalty hunting try number three here O'Connor to Smith Smith taking on Green and Johnson gets it to Myla Myla get Thompson good defence from the Australian the ten metres out here the Rhinos O'Connor to Donaldson Donaldson brought down there by Johnson Knocking at the door here with Cam Smith. Smith lost the ball behind him. Hot potato stuff here from the Rhinos. They keep it going with Hanley. Hanley on that right edge. Reese Martins back on the field for the Rhinos. They're back to 13. The referee having a look at some of that's happened in back play, but Leeds allowed to continue. They play the ball five metres out from the Bradford line, and they're going to try and score here, the Rhinos, but they've gone behind the old man. They've given the ghost up here. It's Tom Holroyd who's just come on. And it's a penalty to Bradford because Tom Holroyd went behind Cameron Smith. His run towards the Bradford line will be halted. So three penalties apiece here at Headingley Carnegie. And it remains Leeds Rhinos 12, Bradford Bulls 4. Leon Ruin, Morgan Gannon, the try scorers for the Rhinos this afternoon. Joe Arundel for the Bradford Bulls and there's just going to be a halting play here because James McDonnell has an injury for the Leeds Rhinos so the referee will stop the clock and we've got 12 minutes to go to half time it's Leeds 12, Bradford 4 we'll just take a very very quick break we'll be back in 20 seconds Penalty to Bradford, five metres out from their own line in front of the Western Terrace. Bradford defending their away end here at Headingley this afternoon. So James Donaldson's come on the field alongside Tom Holroyd. So a couple of changes made by Rowan Smith. Three penalties apiece. Bradford have not found touch from that penalty by Jordan Lilly. He went for distance over accuracy. And now Bradford back under pressure here. 
11 minutes to go to half time. Leeds 12, Bradford 4. Rhys Martin back on the field here. Fresh legs after his 10 minutes spell in the bin. He's brought down 30 metres out here. Here goes Smith. Smith to Donaldson. Donaldson 20 metres out here. Marcus Green, Thompson, Johnson. The Bradford welcoming committee wrapping up the former Bradford man in the sand. Here goes Smith now to Myler. Myler, quick hands. A chance here for the Rhinos. Five metres out here. Referee seen something in back play. Bradford have committed a penalty. Referee's pointing at Marcus Green. He'll say Mark has gone in with a shoulder. So Leeds awarded the penalty in front of the post. Referee James Feller. Just keeping on top of things. Yet to make his Super League debut, the Australian, but he is a Super League referee for season 2023. So Leeds will tap the ball. They'll give it in with Ollie Field. Field's wrapped up here. Brought down 20 metres out. It now goes towards Smith. Smith to Myler. Myler on the inside to Hanley. Hanley's run is halted and Hanley's rolled over. Five metres out from the Bradford try line. Brad Fox to a big tackle there on Hanley. Quick hands though, Reese Martin out to Lewis Roberts. Roberts in at the corner. That one's going to be disallowed as well for a forward pass. And we'll go back to the 10 metre line. Scrum head and feed here to the Bradford Bulls. So we've seen Kieran Gill and Lewis Roberts cross the try line. Both disallowed. Scrum to Bradford. They've kept their line intact. And it must be said, when Mark Dunning watches this back, he will look at the two Leeds tries, certainly, with 32 minutes gone. But on the back of the back backs, Jordan Lilly leaves the field here. And we get to look at George Rugby on his season-long loan from the Huddersfield Giants. E. Johnson, tackle on. 12 metres out. In there at dummy half, it's going to be a pick and scoop. Blackmore, Blackmore made 10 valuable metres. Blackmore those lost the ball. He didn't need to do that, Ben Blackmore. But it. I know. Blackmore, they're going to say the Leeds man played the ball. And Bradford had 20 metres out. Bradford four. Headingly. The floodlights just coming up here as the sun starts to set in the distance. Just a quick reminder, next weekend on West Georgia Radio, we're at Odsall, Bradford against Whitehaven, and then on the Monday night, it's the big one. It's Keithley's return to the championship against Featherstone. Live and Commentaries in 23 as Bradford can't make it to tackle one because they've coughed the ball. So we're up. It's 20 metres out from the Bradford line. In fact, it's 30 metres out from the Bradford line. In a Certainly relieving some of the big Leeds names out there on the field. He wants more structure and more minutes in the legs as we see Hanley and Myler combined to send Reese Martin on a short run, which is extinguished there by Patton and Gill. Back in centre field here with Donaldson. And it still leads 12 Bradford for typical pre Mark Dunning will be pleased and proud with what the Bulls have had to soak up and absorb here. Well, an impressive second half fight back last season in the pre-season fixing between the two sides. So a young Leeds Rhino side beat the Bradford Bulls, 30 points to 12. Tries from Max Simpson, Alex Meller, Kai Morgan, Liam Tyndall helping Leeds overturn a 12-0 deficit. Richard Ager was head coach of Leeds that afternoon. Now it's Rowan Smith's turn to experience the Leeds Bradford derby in the flesh. Boarding Thompson from the scrub. Roby. Now it goes to Holmes. Fenton Rogers. Straight run down the middle. Wrapped up by three Leeds defenders. Five shy halfway. 
quick play of the ball, Roby with a black scrum cap, now it goes to Patton, Patton kicks into space, turning around Gash Hanley, Hanley has to go towards the far stand touchline, and that's turned the Rhinos around here, Lewis Roberts is going to be brought down, 15 out from his own try line, and it remains Leeds 12, Bradford 4. <coughs> With five minutes to go to the interval here at Headingley Carnegie. If you're just joining us, welcome. We've got people listed in Spain, America, New Zealand, Hull, Ipswich. Four o'clock in the morning in New Zealand. Wow. Very, very committed to the rugby league cause. Leeds now over on the far stand side. 25 out from the Bradford line, on the last tackle. O'Connor's in there at dummy half. Goes to the right here with Myler. Myler props one up for Walker. That's coming down shallow, they've let it bounce. They've let it bounce. But Ben Blackmore has taken the ball and he's been caught high. Penalty for high. Oh, it's a fourth penalty. Four penalties apiece here, and we've got three minutes to go to half time. Well, little strains of sunshine have made way for a cold afternoon here. A couple of people looking at look looking at me funny there when I said about the little strains of sunshine. It was a sunny afternoon when we got to Leeds at half past eleven this morning, early afternoon. So from the penalty, it goes from Patton to Hubs to Walker to Arundel. Arundel, the try scorer for the Bulls, the former Wakefield Hull Halifax man, up to halfway, plays the ball, tackle two, Blackmore to Thompson. Thompson now to Green. Marcus Green in that Ollie Wilson mode. He's wrapped up to inside the Leeds half, Robin out to Patton. Patton to Foster. Foster's brought down, 10 metres inside the Leeds half. Two tackles remaining here for the Bulls. Two and a half to go to half time as we see Josh Johnson carry the ball. And he's wrapped up. Ferdy out from the lead slide. Centre field position. Roby to Hobbs. Hobbs, lovely kick on the inside for Walker. Walker couldn't get there. That was great positioning from Matt Hadley. We've just seen that kick again of Tom Hobbs. Very, very nearly resulting in a try to the Bradford Bulls. And that defensive play from Matt Hadley has got the Leeds Rhino supporters on the feet and energised. It's Leeds 12. Bradford four here at Edinley as Hanley's wrapped up 30 out from his own try line. Wrapped up there by Holmes and Roby. Roby comes in again, grabs hold of Donaldson, but Donaldson's offloading the ball to O'Connor. O'Connor floats it out wide to Martin. Martin has passed the ball to Roberts. Roberts has got the ball on there. The officials have missed it. They're going to allow Roberts inside the Bradford half. They're on the last tackle here, the Rhinos. It goes back to Hanley. Hanley. Walker takes it on his own track. He'll turn defence into attack. And Bradford back in possession here with 90 seconds to go to half time. It's Leeds 12, Bradford 4. Blackmore now to Walker. Walker to Holmes. Holmes through a gap. Holmes wrapped up there by Morgan Gannon. He had to be brought down because Holmes was away. Blackmore's in a dummy half. Here goes Thompson. Bordy Thompson. Right there. We hear the balls. Ruby out of dummy half here to Arundel. Arundel's brought down tackle four. One remaining here for the Bulls. We've got seconds remaining at the end of this first half. Ruby to Holmes. Now to Johnson. Josh Johnson took Hulky Rovers to the Super League from the Championship a couple of years ago. He wants to do the same for the Bulls. 23, Patton kicks the ball. Cambridge Hill and Foggy Johnson are going to absolutely clatter the former Swinton and Lee winger. 10 metres out from his own try line. There's an entanglement of legs and limbs as Leeds get to the feet and they'll play the ball. The 15 out from their own line. Leeds 12, Bradford 4. We'll give you an update on all the latest pre-season games as well at half-time as Liam Tingle eases the burden on the Leeds forwards and decides to take a tackle in centre field. We've not had a six again at all in this game. We've just had four penalties apiece 
as we head towards the half-time hoop. Time is up here at Headingley. We're into first half stoppage time. We're at the mercy of the timekeepers as Leeds lose the ball behind them and they're now going to go on another attacking run and there's players on the inside and the outside and it might just see us Adler score. Adler to Myla. Myla under the... A lovely Leeds first try. A triple through a for the Bulls on the strip of Stanley, Hanley sucks in walk, and it, and Richie Myler, he will go underneath the post, we're in the 40, that has come at a crucial point in this game, we're in the 40th minute, Myler with a try. It was just the effectiveness of Ash Hanley to go past Gill and Foggy Johnson over on that far stand side. And then it was the awareness of that inside support play from Richie Myler. Rhys Martin, he'll convert from in front. Leeds 18, Bradford 4 here, and that is half time. <laughs> We said the hooter was imminent. And, uh, sorry, Andrea and Alan Fowler as Leeds go for a short restart. They've got the ball back here, the Leeds Rhinos. They've caught the ball snapping right at the start of the second half. These are little indicators that Mark Dunning might just want his team to be a little bit sharper ahead of that round one against Whitehaven. So, a play the ball to Leeds, right at the start of this second half. Young Jack Sinfield in the half for the Rhinos in this second half here. What can the Rhinos do early in this second half? Nicholson Watton carries the ball 30 metres out. Big strong for here now from Sinfield. It goes out the back door to Gibbons, Joe Gibbons. The younger brother, the former Bradford and Hunslick, currently at North Wales, David Gibbons. Sinfield drops the shoulders, goes towards the Bradford line. Five metres out here, right at the start of this second half. We've had 40 seconds gone. As they move the ball out with Morgan Gannon, it goes to Ruin. Ruin's wrapped up on the fifth and last tackle. Five metres out here, the Leeds Rhinos. Back in centre field to Sinfield, cross field kick. Looking for Roberts, looking for Tyndall. Tyndall's going to score for Leeds. He's over the line, but Kieran Gill, an exceptional try saving. Bradford's leading try scorer last season. Kieran Gill preventing Liam Tyndall, grounding the ball. It's no change to the half time score. Leeds 18, Bradford 4 here at Headingley. As Bradford now, after that great defensive effort from Kieran Gill, the Bulls are moving the ball out of dummy half here with Ben Blackmore. I did ask Mark Dunning a couple of weeks ago after the Jews Brigade. Ben Blackmore, do you see him potentially moving in that back row? Roll held by Sam Scott. We know Josh Johnson's arrived as a free agent from Widnes. Well, Mark said each player has to have a little bit of versatility. Rob is in there at dummy half. Patton kicks early in the count. Looking to turn around Liam Tyndall. Tyndall from his own 20 metre line. How's the white shirted red, amber, and black coming forward? As Brad England, so Brad Foster and Boarding Thompson there. Brad England missing with that rib injury this afternoon. And a loud shrill blast of the whistle. Has got the balls penalised for being offside inside the tent. Leeds 18, Bradford 4 here at Headingley. Michael Lawrence, Jordan Baldwinson, Brad England all missing. All rested as a precaution. Mark Dunning did say if it was a league game, it'd look at the players' fitness a little bit different. 18 points to 4 here at Headingley to the Leeds Rhinos, the 30 metres out now in front of the Bradford post, centre field position, ball calls now 
down the middle channel once again. Big strong carry from Lissone as Roberts has lost the ball behind himself. Picked up there by Tyndall. Tyndall's wrapped up there by Ben Blackmore and Kieran Gill. Sinfield in at dummy half. It goes to Roberts. Roberts wrapped up by Green and Wallace and Roby in a three man tackle. He'll get to his feet with O'Connor in there at dummy half. Right at the start of this second half in at Henley Carnegie. Bradford trailing by 18 points to four. No luck lost two sides. Bradford post, they're going to shift it over on that left edge with Morgan Gannon. Gannon's gone without the ball, it's an error there from the Rhinos. A changeover in possession. Scoreboard says the same. Rhinos 18. Bulls four, Leeds coming up with error number eight of this game and then the second half and Bradford now looking to build a little bit of momentum. Jack Walker's down in back play, just uh, wanting a little bit of physio on that right ankle. Looks to be okay though. It goes really out of the half. Well, Josh Johnson arrived on Thursday, announced on Friday. Another player to be announced in the coming days at the Bradford Bulls and potentially if Mark Dunning wants to dip his toes or dip his feet into the Leeds Lord market, those Leeds Rhinos players that might become available. Here goes Bodine Thompson, up to halfway here. They're moving it wide here with Tom Holmes. Holmes is 30 out now from the Leeds line. Good meters made from Tom Holmes. Back into centre field to Patton. High hanging kick, looking for Gill on Ruin. Kieran Gill takes him and he's wrapped up there by Tyndall. And that was clever play from Liam Tyndall. He was happy for Kieran Gill to take it. Gilly took it on the full. Tyndall wrapped up Kieran Gill. And leads back in possession here with Tyndall. O'Connor. Young Alfie Edgell in possession now for Leeds. He'll get to his feet, Will Edgell. Leeds moving it over on that left-hand side. Leeds 18, Bradford 4. We've had five minutes gone at the start of this second half here on West Yorkshire Radio this afternoon. As a tackle on the shoulder goes across the face there. And that's a penalty for a high tackle. Tom nicholson Watson caught high there by George Roby. 6-4 the penalty count against the Bulls. And that's a piggyback. And we saw in the first half, those tries from Leon Ruin and Morgan Gannon coming on the back of errors and penalties. He's lightning about to strike for a third time. Gibbons, tackle one, 20 out from the Bradford line. O'Connor in a dummy half. Goes left towards Edgell. Back on the inside to Nicholson Watton. Nicholson Watton's brought down tackle two. 12 out underneath the Bradford post. Six again, first six again and again here. Bradford just laid up the tackles. Bradford laid up the tackles. Leeds will crash over for Joe Gibbons. 22 points to four. The penalty, the three start. Left Bradford. Joe Gibbons. over on a pole from five a little bit easy for Mark Dunning the lights that leads in control of this one now at 22 points to four Joe Gibbons just taking on that bulls line and just like what happened last season at Hudson that very young youthful Leeds Rhino side beating the Bradford Bulls as Jack Sinfield will attempt the conversion attempt it's 15 metres to the right hand side of the post kick predictor says 94% as George Flanagan Jr has come on the field here for the Bradford Bulls Jack Sinfield to add the extra two he pilots that one between the posts. Leeds Rhinos 24, Bradford Bulls 4 here. And heading the Carnegie in this Keith Howard Memorial match. A yearly fixture now between the Rhinos and the Bulls. Next year it'll be held at Odsall. 
Dick Parron not happy with the referee, James Vella. He's saying when you give the six again, the Leeds player was trapping his arm in the tackle. 24 points to four, Bradford have to score next, you feel. Conditions just getting a little bit blustery here. As Bradford front up in defence here. Leeds, 15 out from their own line, tackle one. O'Connor in there at dummy half. Brigstrom carry here, but good defence there from AJ Wallace. Also George Roby in defence there for the Bulls. Once again, Ollie Field, big carry there from the young back row forward. O'Connor in at dummy half. Now it goes out wide towards Leon Ruin. Ruin's brought down and Bradford have conceded another penalty here because the Leeds player's gone down off the ball. And that's Leeds seven on the penalty count. Bradford four. And more defensive pressure for the Bulls to absorb here. Leeds 24, Bradford four here. We've had 10 minutes gone in this second half. And a chance here now for Leeds to really, really put a good controlled set of six in here. Referee's just stopping the clock here. Leeds just making sure everything's okay. It's a very youthful Leeds team in this second half. And Rowan Smith giving youth its chance. So, time back on here, Leeds 40 metres out from the Bradford line. It's going to go from Morgan Gannon to Nicholson Watton. Tackle one. He's brought down there by Josh Johnson. Here goes Morgan Gannon. Jackson Field. Brought down there by Bodie Thompson. The young, youthful Leeds got the roll on here as it goes from Morgan Gannon to Leon Ruben. Ruben's brought. Leeds supporters can smell another try coming here. Sinfield gives the ball there to Holroyd. Holroyd underneath the Bradford post. Tackle remaining. They've conceded the six again here, the Bulls. Danger Mountain as the Rhinos go on the charge. Nicholson Watton's brought down. Two metres out in front of the Bradford post. Jared O'Connor tries to pinch one. He's held up a metre shy. Incessant from the Bulls. It goes to infield. Out the pocket. It goes to Edgell. Alfie Edgell wrapped up by Flanagan Jr. Good defence there from Roby and Flanagan Jr. Lee still backed up, 10 metres out now, as it goes from Stinfield. Quick hands there to Holroyd. Holroyd wraps up. One remaining here for the Rhinos, as they go with Morgan Gannon. Gannon trying to reach out and score. He's over the Bradford line, pushed back in the field of play. Last tackle coming up here for the... The right on the Bradford line. Can they open their account? They've lost the ball. Tackle, perhaps a little bit, a little bit of naivety there from the Rhinos trying to force the pass. Jacksonfield calling for it in centre field. They ran it on the power play, and I do believe it was Liam Ruin who knocked the ball on into Boarding Thompson, who's down in back play, receiving a bit of treatment. Well, Bradford have just had no ball in this second half. We've had 12 minutes gone. We've got 28 minutes remaining. They've had all the ball inside their own half. Apart from that one attacking raid with that crossfield kick from Parent to Gill. Here goes Marcus Green for the Bradford Bulls. Big strong carry. 15 shy of halfway. Roby's in there at dummy half. Good defence there from Field and Ruin. Roby now to Patton. Patton kicks early in the count. Good tech there by young Alfie Edgel from his own tech. Up to the 20. Edgel wrapped up there by Chester Butler and Tom Holmes. Leeds. 25 out from their own try line. Josh Johnson leaves the field. And Fenton Rogers has come on the field. And Chester Butler also back out there on the field for Mark Dunn inside. Here goes Riley Lum for the Leeds Rhinos. Just come on the field. The youngster gets to his feet. He'll play the ball. Here goes Sinfield. Sinfield kicks into space. 
Jack Walker just doing the 50 minutes as Flanagan Jr. beats one. Can't get past Sinfield. Sinfield comes in and brings Junior down. And here come the Bradford Bulls now. They're getting a loop. The ball here with Max Clark come on. And it's now in the field here with Kieran Gill. Gill wrapped up there by Gannon. Roby, Thompson, Holmes. Over on that right hand edge. Bradford up to halfway here. Joe Arundel trying And Fenton Rogers carries Bradford five inside the Leeds half. They're on the fifth and last tackle here, the Bradford Bulls. Down by 20 here. Patton boots the ball. That's caught the wings. Leeds might just let this one bounce. Leeds do let it bounce. It comes off Patton. And Patton knocks the ball on. And it's recovered in possession by Ollie Field. Bradford. Four. Leeds 24 here. As they play the ball, ten share of the halfway line. Lum. Absolutely crushed there by Roby and Thompson. Here goes Nicholson Watton. Five inside the Bradford half of the field. Moving the ball on this left hand side. Last tackle for the Rhinos. Gannon's playing the ball. Sinfield put under pressure. Beating here. On the last tackle, it's another penalty to the Leeds Riders. They now lead the penalty count. 8 4. And it's a penalty here to the meters out. Well, some players in attempt there for Tom Holmes. I'm not sure it warranted a penalty. If two. It was one of those click and you miss it. But Leeds once again on the attack head and shoulders against the Bradford Bulls in this second half ball to Sinfield Edgel, Roberts Roberts goes past Wallace Roberts has lost the ball over the line and it's a tap on the 20 metre line for the ball well young Lewis Roberts there he's lost his head he's gone straight through and he's put the ball down. He's put the ball down over the line. And the referee is going to say no try. So back in here. Bradford. It's tough for the field. be a costly mistake there could be a costly error from Lewis Roberts here goes he's brought down 15 metres out from that Leeds line Roby to Patton Patton to Holmes to Flanagan Jr they're on the last at a cold, wind-slept Headingley Stadium. Just a change in the scoreboard. Bradford for Leeds, 24 here. Leeds back in possession. Five metres out from that left-hand side. They're on that far stand side here. Down the middle channel here with James Donaldson, who's just come on the field 
for the Leeds Rhinos. So 20 minutes left here, 24 points to four here at Headingley, can he get? And they're on the last tackle here, the Leeds Rhinos. Ball goes back here towards Morgan Gannon. Gannon, high hanging kick. He's brought down over on the far stand side. And back they come the Bradford Bulls, 24 points to four, they're down here at Headingley. Well, we said, perhaps looking a little bit head and shoulders are better, better than the Bulls. In no way terms, a disrespectful comment against the Bulls there. Leeds just looking good at the start of this second half here. Bradford back in possession though. They know a try gives them a chance in this second half. The score body material as George Flanagan Senior is out there on the field. Here goes Lilly. Lilly now gives the ball to Wallace. Wallace to Miles Lawford who's just come on the field. Miles Lawford brought down. As it goes now on that right edge with Lilly. Lilly kicks early in the count. Looking to put a bit of pressure there on Loam. Heading towards touch, he's got into touch. Scrum head and feet to the Bradford Bulls. A chance here now for the Bradford Bulls to get back in this game. 24 points to four. It was a clever, clever kick there from Jordan Lilly. And Lilly now is going to kick and ask for the scrum. Centre field position, 10 metres out. From that try line. So the Bradford Bulls looking for their second score of the afternoon here at Henley Carnegie. A show and go from John Flanagan. Flanagan trying to force his way past the Leeds defenders. He's brought down Lily to Lawford. Lawford wrapped up right on top of that Leeds Rhinos defensive line here. Back it's gonna go with Brad Foster. Foster trying to score and muscle his way past this Leeds defence. Flanagan Senior in there at dummy half to Lawford. Flanagan Junior has gone without the ball. First knock on against the Bulls. Non forthcoming, another error. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back in ten. We'll be back in a couple of moments. Twenty four. Bradford four. Here at Headingley County. There's the Leeds Rhinos. Move the ball from the from their own try line. Well, we do apologise. We just had a couple of wins here at Headingley, but we're back up and running. Still 24 points to four here. As Leeds move the ball out of dummy half here with another one of their young players entering the field, Riley Lum. Really looking the part at times. Back down the middle channel, the Rhino's gonna go here with Tom Holroyd. So 17 minutes to go here. 24 points to four, as Donaldson. Oh, I now. It's a bit of a concern for my AJ Wallace, this one by the referee over the tackling technique. Finds touch, 20. So here we go. Please, 15 metres out from that Bradford Bulls try line. Looking for a fifth try of the afternoon. As we see Tom Holroyd, 10 metres out. Couple of tackles remaining here for the Leeds Rhinos. They're moving it down the middle channel here with Donaldson. Donaldson, lovely short cutout ball to Gibbons. Gibbons is brought down. Five metres out underneath the Bradford Bulls post. On this right hand edge. 
It's going to go to Alfie Edgell. Edgell, though, is going to be wrapped up by Flanagan Senior Junior. Jordan Lilly in there for good measure. Tackle four gone on this attacking set for the Rhinos. 24 4 the lead. Sinfield beats one, beats two. Can't get past Lilly, Flanagan, and AJ Wallace. The brought down on the last tackle here. Donaldson to Morgan Gannon. Too much on that from Gannon. Tackle set coming up here for the Leeds, uh, for the Bradford Bulls, and it's 24 points to four here at Headingley. It's going to be quickly taken here by Max Clark, and he's brought down 10 out from his own try line. Referees caught the Leeds Rhinos offside inside the 10. Bradford's first penalty of the second half, and it's come with 16 minutes remaining. Kick towards the corner here. Bradford, 35 metres out from the Leeds line. Can their perseverance, their hard working ethic see them cross the line? Bradford now with Flanagan to Lilly. Ball's gone to ground here. Jaden Barraclough not able to keep that one in. And another chance gone begging here for the Bradford Bulls as Leeds are back in possession. 12 metres shy of the halfway line here, centre field. Ball goes down the middle channel here. With Lum, Sinfield. Well, just the try to Joe Gibbons in this second half. 18-4 at half-time. It's been a real strong, determined performance from both sides. A lot of effort from both teams. As Leeds move the ball on this left-hand edge. Sam Lissoni back out there on the field for the final 10 minutes or so. Sinfield on the last tackle. Kicks towards Tindall. But still the last tackle. Here goes out to Edgell. Edgell. And that from the Bradford Bulls. And they cover possession here. 24 points to four down with 15 minutes to go. From the scrum then, Bradford, 20 shy of the halfway line, Flanagan to Jaden Myers who's just come on in the second half, once again Morgan Gannon going through a lot of defensive work, six again of the Bradford Bulls says referee James Vella, George Flanagan in possession, Pushed back towards his own 30 metre line. That'll be tackle number one. Lawford in at dummy half. To Rogers. Two Leeds defenders bringing Fenn and Rogers down. Sam Lissoni being one of them. Here goes Lilly. To Gill. <coughs> Gill. To Wallace. AJ Wallace with that instinctive run in that centre field position. The 30 metres out here, Bradford. Can they get a try here? In the closing moments, Lawford kicks ahead. Chance here for a rondel. They're going to concede the goal line drop out here, the Leeds Rhinos. And that's great play there from Miles Lawford. Kicked ahead. Joe Arundel. Jaden Myers on outside. And Bradford forced a repeat set of six here. Leeds, 24, Bradford 4 here. They've gone for the short restart, the Rhinos. They've come up with the error.
And a chance here for the Bradford Bowls. With this scrum, 10 metres out from that Leeds try line. Attacking that Western Terrace. Lily, Flanning and Junior. Flanning and Junior, Brockton, five metres out. Lily now, back in centre field. It's going through Brad Foster's hands. Foster's brought down underneath the Leeds post here. Flanagan to Rogers. Rogers trying to muscle his way over. Big, strong, determined run here from Fenton Rogers. He'll play the ball. Flanagan's pass off the floor to Lilly. Lilly against his former club. Pass on the inside. Bradford are over the line here. It's Flanagan with a try. And Bradford have got their second try of the afternoon. And look what it means to George Flanagan riding front of the Bradford Bombers on the Western Terrace. And the game are back. And it's won the Bulls. 24 points to eight. George Flanagan, no more deserving than that one. So Bradford with the try. Flanagan Jr. will attempt to convert this one from to the right hand side of the post. So Flanagan Jr. to narrow the gap for the Bradford Bulls. And Flanagan Jr. adds the extra two points. It's Leeds Rhinos. 24, the Bradford Bulls, 10 here at Headingley Carnegie. And we're in the final 10 minutes here. And that's nothing less than the Bradford Bulls deserve for this second half showing. It was Dad George with a try. It was Son George with the conversion and that determination and effort will please head coach Mark Dunning there's been a collision on the restart here Leeds have a player down Bradford no there's still time in this game to try and get something back from it we do apologise if there's been any technical issues this afternoon we do appear to have had a little bit of a blip for around a couple of minutes. Certainly people listening on the actual radio, I do believe, no interrupted coverage. Those people listening on the app, we do apologise. But we've got 10 minutes to go here at Headingley. Bradford down by 14 points. Second half, six points apiece. And we've just got a delay in the game here with Leeds having a player down in back play. So yeah, once again, just apologies to anybody who's uh, had a little bit of an interruption for a few minutes or so. So we're good to go on the restart. Leeds stay at 13, playing the ball. Fenton Rogers, here goes AJ Wallace. Goes firing straight into that defensive line. And Flanagan's in there at dummy half. Now to Lilly. Lilly in the halves with Lawford. Lawford, a real live wire for the Bradford Bulls. He's brought down 15 shire halfway. Josh Johnson, his second carry, his second hit up. And Josh Johnson's brought down five shire halfway. Flanagan to Lilly, last tackle here for the Bulls, Lilly kicks ahead, it's come off the Bradford player in an accidental offside position, it will be a changeover and it's going to be 
I play the ball for the Leeds Rhinos just shy of the halfway line. Well, let us know who you feel the man of the matches uh, in any of the comments. I know you can only base it off what we're describing here at Headingley Carnegie, but certainly in terms of the strong showing for the Bradford Bulls, Jack Walker, Bradford's real standout player in that first half. Kevin Gill, another strong showing from him, both in attack and defence. Very, very unlucky not to be given that try. We saw the replay at half time and ah, we'll say harsh. Sinfield playing the ball here for the Rhinos, falling out from the Bradford try line as they move it over on that left hand edge. Lawford in defence for the Bradford Bulls with Chester Butler. 30 metres out now the Rhinos with Donaldson to Sinfield. Now it goes to Wally Field. Fields brought down. Fifth and last tackle here for the Rhinos. It goes to Sinfield, boot from Sinfield, looking to put Max Clark under pressure. Clark's dropped the ball behind him, picked up by Flanagan Jr. And Flanagan Jr. is going to turn defence into attack. And he's brought down five metres out from his own try line. We've got seven minutes to go here at Headingley as Jaden Myers tackle two. Bradford 15 out from their own try line. Lily's in there at dummy half. He's only managing to move it on that right hand edge but Bradford are making metres forward here referee says hell tackle three 20 shire halfway Flanagan senior at dummy half to Lilly Lilly to Josh Johnson Johnson's run halted big telling tackle there from James Donaldson back it goes in centre field to Fenton Rogers to Lilly to Gill Gill's away here goes Clark Clark pass inside to Gill here and Gill track back there back to Bradford on the last tackle, leads a stress, Gilly plays the ball, Clark to Lilly, Lilly crossfield kick, looking for a Bradford shirt, Bradford are going to come up with the ball with Lawford, Lawford out wide, Flanagan Junior's in, well this one's not over yet, Flanagan Junior's in at the corner, although the try is going to be disallowed, referee says no try, and it's another no try call against the Bulls. He will say scrum head and feet to the Bulls. Well, Leon Ruins knocked the ball on. Lawford picks it up. They're going to say forward pass from Lawford to Flanagan Jr. We're going back for the scrum. 10 metres out from the Western Terrace here at Heading Lake. Just over five minutes remain on the clock. AJ Wallace down receiving attention. Hopefully nothing too concerning affected him. Four points to ten. Well, I tell you what, the three disallowed tries Bradford have had. Marginal calls the last two. That ball did definitely go forward from Lawford to Flanagan Jr. But it's a scrum head and feed here to the Bradford Bulls and Mark Dunning must be delighted with the work ethic real hard working effort here Rowan Smith watching on from his lofty perch he might be a little bit disappointed with the errors and the way Leeds are just fading somewhat here AJ Wallace can play no further part he will leave the field so it's a scrum here to the Bradford Bulls 10 metres out from the Leeds line can Bradford get another try back in this game? They're going on that short side again with Arundel. Arundel powering his way through. He's a metre out from the Leeds line. A metre shy of getting Bradford's try. Josh Johnson's gone without the ball. Chance gone begging for Bradford. He holds his hand up. Chance gone begging. 24 points to 10. It remains here at Headingley. the base of the scrum Liam Tindall in there at dummy half Alfie Edgell well we're in the final 
moments of this game here. Leeds just moving the ball out from their own line. Levi Edwards back out there on the field. 24 points to take. This will never be one of those Leeds Bradford classics. But a worthwhile exercise for Mark Dunning and the Bradford Bulls nonetheless. Here goes Donaldson up to the Leeds 40 metre line. They're on the last tackle here, the Rhinos. Sinfield, they're running it on the power play. Lewis Roberts kicks ahead. That'll go to Flanagan Jr. Flanagan Jr. comes up with a little error there. Ironic cheers from the Leeds faithful. And it's going to be scrum head and feet to the Leeds Rhinos here. With minutes left here. Penalty to lead. Someone's shown dissent to referee James Mellor. It clearly bobbled on the floor. Flanagan Jr. Being spoken to by the referee. Penalty to Leeds. Ten penalties to five in favour of the Rhinos this afternoon. And Cam Leeds finished with a flourish here, despite the George Flanagan senior try and the Fl Flanagan junior no try call. Levi Edwards. Levi Edwards going towards the line. He's brought down a couple of metres out here. They're moving the ball with Donaldson. Forward pass, leads are over the line here. That's going to be disallowed. It's a forward pass. And we're going back for a scrum here to the Bradford Bulls. So both sides a little bit jittery, a little bit stuttery, misfiring at times. We're heading full-time Hooter here at Headingley. 24 points to 10 these Rhinos. Here comes George Flanagan Jr. Flanagan Jr. from the scrum. He's still not brought down Flanagan Jr. Flanagan Jr. up to halfway. Wrapped up there by Lewis Roberts. Well, this is like a Leeds Bradford game of old all of a sudden. Lilling out to Green. Green told to move forward and he makes 10 valuable metres. Flanagan Sr. in there goes to Lawford. Lawford to Lily. Lily. Chance out wide, Bradford keep it going. Chester Butler now wrapped up. Closing minutes of this game. Can Bradford get another try? Here goes Josh Johnson to Lilly. Lilly to Bradford. He's wrapped up, tackle four. One and... To Rogers. To Johnson. Lovely ball to Butler. Butler to Flanagan Senior. He's gone without the ball there, George Flanagan. And leads back in possession. Referees looking at the watch. The clock says 80 minutes here at Headingley. We're into the first minute of time added on. And the referee says, there you go. Perhaps there's no hooter at all this afternoon. The referee says, we've done 80 minutes. Full time here.